on a humid afternoon in mid-August 2008 in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia. A tragedy took place that would send shockwaves through the local community and tear a family apart. The Thompsons resided in an affluent neighborhood, renowned for its stately homes, tree-lined streets, and a strong sense of community. It was in one of these grand residences that the complex lives of William Bill Thompson, his wife Vanessa, and his stepson Darius Johnson converged in ways that no one could have predicted. William Bill Thompson, at 56 years old, was a man who had seemingly achieved the American dream. Born and raised in Atlanta, Bill was the youngest of three siblings in a working-class family. From an early age, he exhibited a sharp mind and a strong work ethic, qualities that would later define his success. After graduating from high school in 1970, Bill attended Georgia State University, where he earned a degree in business administration. Bill's career began in the retail industry, but he quickly moved up the ranks, eventually founding his own chain of hardware stores, Thompson's Tools and More. The stores became a staple in the community, known for their excellent customer service and wide selection of products. By 2000, Bill had expanded his business to 10 locations across Georgia, earning him a reputation as a shrewd and generous businessman. Bill was a charismatic and influential figure in Atlanta. He was deeply involved in local charities, often hosting fundraisers and donating to various causes. His warm smile and approachable demeanor made him a beloved figure in the community. Despite his success, Bill remained grounded, always willing to lend a helping hand to those in need. However, behind the successful facade was a man grappling with inner turmoil, a struggle that few knew about. Vanessa Thompson, Bill's 54-year-old wife, was a woman of grace and compassion. Originally from Savannah, Georgia, Vanessa grew up in a large, close-knit family where she learned the value of education and community service. After graduating from Spelman College in 1976 with a degree in education, Vanessa returned to Savannah, where she began her career as a high school teacher. Her dedication to her students was unparalleled. Vanessa was known for her nurturing nature, always going the extra mile to ensure that her students succeeded. She taught English at a local high school for over two decades before meeting Bill. Her warm personality and genuine care for others earned her the respect and admiration of both her colleagues and students. In 2001, Vanessa attended a charity event in Savannah where she first met Bill. They were both involved in local philanthropic efforts, and their shared passion for giving back to the community drew them together. Vanessa was captivated by Bill's charm and his commitment to making a difference. After a whirlwind romance, the couple married in 2002. Vanessa moved to Atlanta to start her new life with Bill, bringing along her young son, Darius. Bill embraced his role as a stepfather with enthusiasm. Despite having no children of his own, he was eager to take on the responsibility of raising Darius. Initially, Darius was reserved and cautious around Bill, uncertain about this new man in his life. However, Bill's consistent support and genuine interest in Darius's well-being eventually broke down those barriers. Bill became not just a stepfather, but a mentor and a friend to Darius, helping him with his studies and encouraging his interests. Their blended family flourished, and to the outside world, they appeared to be the perfect picture of happiness and success. Darius Johnson, Vanessa's 21-year-old son from her previous marriage, was a young man full of potential. Born in Savannah in 1987, Darius had always been a bright and curious child. His early years were marked by a strained relationship with his biological father, who had left the family when Darius was just five years old. This left a void in Darius's life, one that was only filled when Bill came into the picture. Darius excelled academically, particularly in math and science. His natural intelligence and creativity set him apart from his peers. In high school, he developed a passion for engineering, leading him to pursue a degree in mechanical engineering at Georgia Tech. His professors often remarked on his innovative thinking and his ability to solve complex problems with ease. 
But Darius wasn't just known for his academic achievements. He was also a talented athlete, having joined the wrestling team in high school. His dedication to the sport paid off as he quickly became one of the top wrestlers in his division. Even in college, Darius continued to wrestle, earning several accolades and becoming a well-respected member of his team. His tall athletic build was a testament to the years of training and discipline he had put into his sport. Despite his accomplishments, Darius remained humble and kind-hearted. He was close to his mother, often seeking her advice and guidance. The bond between Darius and Bill grew stronger over the years, with Bill guiding Darius not only in his studies, but also in life. To the outside world, Darius seemed to have it all, a promising future, a supportive family, and a bright mind. But beneath the surface, the dynamics within the Thompson household were far more complicated than they appeared. Bill Thompson's journey into adulthood had not been without its complexities. In his teenage years, he had experienced an intense period of confusion and curiosity about his sexuality. Growing up in Atlanta during the late 1960s and early 1970s, societal expectations were rigid, and there was little room for exploration outside the norm. Yet, despite this, Bill found himself drawn to other boys in a way that he could neither understand nor openly acknowledge. At the age of 17, during the summer before his senior year of high school, Bill had his first and only sexual encounter with another boy. The experience left him both exhilarated and terrified. The boy was a close friend, someone Bill trusted implicitly, which made the betrayal of his own emotions feel even more profound. They had shared a moment of intense connection, something that went beyond the physical, yet it was fraught with a sense of danger and shame. When it was over, both boys swore never to speak of it again, and Bill buried the memory deep within himself, vowing to never let those feelings resurface. For years, Bill managed to suppress this side of himself. He threw himself into his studies and later his career, focusing on the life he was supposed to lead, a life that included a successful business, a beautiful wife, and eventually, a family. The shame and fear that had accompanied his teenage encounter kept him firmly on this path. He convinced himself that it had been a phase, a momentary lapse in judgment. He built a life that was, by all outward appearances, the epitome of traditional success, and he pushed any lingering doubts far to the back of his mind. But as time went on, those buried feelings began to stir once more. By 2005, Bill was at the height of his career. He had expanded his hardware store business across Georgia, making a name for himself as a shrewd and respected businessman. However, the more successful he became, the more the cracks in his carefully constructed facade began to show. In social settings with male friends and colleagues, Bill found himself increasingly drawn to them in ways he could no longer ignore. It started innocuously enough, a lingering glance, a handshake that lasted a moment too long. But these small signs were enough to awaken desires that had lain dormant for decades. These feelings troubled Bill deeply. He couldn't reconcile the man he had worked so hard to become with the desires that were now bubbling to the surface. The guilt weighed heavily on him but so did the excitement. He was caught in a dangerous cycle of shame and exhilaration, each feeding into the other, pushing him to explore these long-repressed urges in secret. Bill began seeking out opportunities to meet other men, using his business trips as a cover. In cities far from home, where no one knew him or his reputation, he allowed himself to indulge in the fantasies he had kept hidden for so long. He frequented bars and clubs known for their discretion, places where he could meet men who were, like him, living double lives. These encounters were thrilling and terrifying in equal measure. Bill knew he was risking everything, his marriage, his career, his carefully curated image, but the pull was too strong to resist. The more he indulged in these secret liaisons, the more difficult it became for Bill to maintain the illusion of the perfect husband. He began to feel a growing sense of detachment from Vanessa, his once close relationship with her, now strained by the weight of his secrets. He hated himself for betraying her, for betraying the life they had built together, 
but the desire was too overpowering to ignore. The situation reached a new level of complexity when Darius, Vanessa's son from a previous marriage, began to mature into adulthood. As Darius approached his early twenties, Bill noticed the young man's transformation into a confident, handsome adult. Darius's athletic build, honed through years of wrestling, only added to his allure. Bill found himself increasingly captivated by Darius in ways that left him both horrified and entranced. The young man's presence stirred feelings in Bill that he had never expected to resurface, let alone in this context. The internal conflict Bill faced was now more intense than ever. Not only was he struggling with his reawakened attraction to men, but he was also grappling with the inappropriate and dangerous feelings he harbored for his stepson. Bill's attempts to suppress these desires only seemed to intensify them. The more he tried to distance himself emotionally and mentally from Darius, the more he found himself drawn to the young man. Every interaction, every casual conversation or shared meal became a minefield of suppressed longing and guilt. Bill was acutely aware of the inappropriateness of his feelings, but he couldn't help the way his gaze lingered a bit too long on Darius or how his heart raced when they were alone. To cope with these overwhelming emotions, Bill began to distance himself further from Vanessa, immersing himself even more in his business and his clandestine affairs. He convinced himself that his marriage was still strong, that he could keep his double life hidden from everyone, especially from his family. He rationalized that these secret encounters with other men were a way to satiate his desires without endangering his marriage or the complicated, fragile relationship he had with Darius. However, the more he indulged in these illicit meetings, the more disconnected he became from the person he once was. Bill's carefully constructed world was beginning to crumble under the weight of his own deception. The guilt he felt for cheating on Vanessa was immense, but the guilt over his feelings for Darius was unbearable. He was living a life torn between two worlds, one that was safe, respectable, and expected, and another that was dangerous, exciting, and forbidden. Bill's secret life created a growing chasm within him, one that threatened to engulf everything he had worked so hard to build. His desire for Darius was a ticking time bomb, one that he knew could explode at any moment and destroy not just his life, but the lives of those he cared about most. But despite the risk, Bill couldn't stop himself from being drawn deeper into this dark and dangerous part of himself. It was as if the very act of suppressing his desires only made them stronger and he was helpless to stop it. As Darius continued to grow into his own person, Bill's feelings for him became increasingly complicated. He found himself caught in a web of his own making, where every decision only seemed to tighten the strands around him. In the years following his entry into college, Darius Johnson began to navigate a complex landscape of emotions and desires, awakening a side of himself that had long remained dormant. His journey of self-discovery took a significant turn when he joined the wrestling team at Georgia Tech, a decision that would shape his experiences in ways he never anticipated. Wrestling became a passion for Darius, not only for the competitive nature of the sport, but also for the camaraderie it fostered among the team members. He appreciated the physicality of wrestling, the way his body engaged with others in a sport that demanded both strength and strategy. As he grappled with his opponents on the mat, he found himself increasingly aware of the tactile sensations and the close contact inherent in the sport. It was during these moments that Darius began to feel an unfamiliar thrill at the sensation of his skin brushing against that of his teammates, igniting a flicker of desire he had not previously acknowledged. In the locker room, the atmosphere was charged with a mix of testosterone and friendship. As Darius showered alongside his teammates, he couldn't help but steal glances at the other guys, his gaze lingering a little longer than he intended. He felt a rush of excitement, accompanied by a hint of guilt, as he recognized an attraction he had previously suppressed. The realization that he was drawn to his male teammates created a whirlwind of confusion within him, challenging the conventional views he had grown up with and his identity as a straight man. Darius often found himself lost in thought, grappling with his feelings as he interacted with his friends. 
He enjoyed the camaraderie of the team and cherished the bonds he formed, but he couldn't shake the awareness of his attraction to certain guys. Despite the flickers of attraction and curiosity, he had not acted on these feelings. Up until his relationship with Bill, he had never crossed that line, maintaining a sense of caution as he navigated the complexities of his emerging sexuality. As Darius grew older, his admiration for Bill deepened in ways he hadn't anticipated. What began as a son's respect for his stepfather gradually transformed into something more complicated. Bill had always been a steady presence in Darius's life, offering guidance, support, and a model of what it meant to be a strong, successful man. This connection, combined with the unresolved issues in Darius's relationship with his biological father, led to a unique bond between the two. Bill, for his part, was caught off guard by his growing feelings for Darius. He had always seen himself as a traditional man, devoted to his family and his role as a husband and stepfather. However, his past struggles with suppressed desires began to resurface, and he found himself increasingly drawn to Darius. The attraction was not merely physical, but deeply emotional, rooted in the close relationship they had developed over the years. The turning point came when Darius was in his early twenties, transitioning from adolescence to adulthood. As he became more confident and independent, the dynamic between him and Bill began to shift. Darius started to see Bill not just as a father figure, but as a man with his own vulnerabilities and complexities. This realization made Darius feel a mix of confusion and curiosity, which eventually led to deeper feelings of affection. Their relationship took a secretive and romantic turn, marked by stolen glances, lingering touches and unspoken words that communicated far more than they dared to say aloud. Both men were aware of the forbidden nature of their connection, and the guilt weighed heavily on them. Yet, the intensity of their emotions made it impossible to simply walk away. Bill's internal struggle was further complicated by the fact that his attraction to men was not limited to Darius. Even as he grew closer to his stepson, Bill continued to seek out secret encounters with other men, something Darius was unaware of. These clandestine meetings were a way for Bill to explore the desires he had kept hidden for so long, but they also left him feeling more conflicted than ever. Darius, unaware of Bill's other adventures, remained focused on their relationship. He found himself caught in a whirlwind of emotions, excitement, guilt, love, and fear, all of which were intensified by the secrecy of their bond. The fact that their relationship was forbidden only heightened its intensity, creating a powerful connection that neither could easily break. As their relationship deepened, the stakes grew higher. Bill's fear of losing everything he had worked for his family, his reputation, his business clashed with his need to explore the part of himself that he had kept hidden for so long. The duality of his life became more difficult to manage, and the cracks in the facade began to show. Darius, too, was struggling with his own conflicting emotions. He loved his mother deeply and knew that their relationship would devastate her if she ever found out. At the same time, he couldn't deny his feelings for Bill, which had grown stronger with each passing day. The weight of the secret they shared began to take a toll on him, leaving him torn between his love for Bill and his loyalty to Vanessa. Their situation was further complicated by the fact that they were living under the same roof. The constant proximity made it difficult to maintain the facade of a normal family, and the tension between them became palpable. They had to be careful not to let their emotions slip, especially in front of Vanessa, who was becoming increasingly suspicious of the changes in their behavior. As time passed, the secret relationship between Bill and Darius began to weigh heavily on them both. The initial excitement was replaced by overwhelming guilt and fear. Darius, once close to his mother, felt torn by his betrayal and began to distance himself from her, unable to face the truth of what he was doing. Bill, similarly conflicted, struggled with his love for Vanessa and the powerful emotions he felt for Darius. This inner turmoil made him increasingly anxious and irritable. Vanessa noticed the changes in their behavior, the awkward silences, the evasive answers, and the growing tension within the household. Her suspicion grew, 
though she couldn't pinpoint the exact cause. The once warm and loving home turned cold, filled with unease. Bill's clandestine affairs with other men added to the strain, deepening his guilt and confusion. The pressure of living a double life took a toll on him, leading to sleepless nights and constant worry. Darius, too, was consumed by fear that their secret might be discovered, affecting his studies and relationships. On August 17, 2008, it was a warm and humid day in Atlanta. Vanessa had spent the morning at work, unaware that her life was about to take a tragic turn. Returning home in the early afternoon, she noticed an unusual silence in the house. Bill, who had the day off, should have been home. She called out his name but was met with silence. Concerned, she began searching the house. As she descended into the basement, where Bill often worked, a terrible sight awaited her. Bill was lying face down in a pool of blood. In a panic, Vanessa rushed to him, trying to comprehend what had happened. It was clear he had been dead for several hours. Her screams of despair caught the attention of their neighbor, Tom Henderson, who rushed over to help. Tom quickly called the police, and within minutes, their once peaceful street was filled with the sounds of sirens. Police officers secured the crime scene as paramedics confirmed that Bill was deceased. Detective John Richards, a seasoned investigator, took charge of the scene. While officers questioned Vanessa and Tom, the detective began to piece together the events. Vanessa, in shock, told the police about her day and her discovery of Bill's body. Tom explained that he had heard her screams and rushed over to find her beside Bill's body. Detective Richards noticed the signs of a struggle in the basement, but found no immediate evidence of forced entry. Given the circumstances, Vanessa was taken to the police station for further questioning. Despite her emotional state, she provided a consistent alibi, stating that she had been at work all morning. The police corroborated her story by checking her cell phone location and confirming her whereabouts. With her alibi confirmed, Vanessa was released, but the investigation was far from over. The detectives examined Bill's phone records and found a call made that morning to his business partner, Robert Mitchell. Mitchell was brought in for questioning. He admitted to visiting Bill that morning to discuss business matters, but insisted he had left shortly afterward. His alibi was weak, and the police decided to take a DNA sample and keep him as a suspect, considering potential financial motives. As the investigation continued, the police delved deeper into Bill's private life. They were shocked to discover a series of messages and social media interactions indicating that Bill had multiple secret relationships with other men. Even more shocking was the revelation that one of these relationships involved his stepson, Darius. Darius was brought in for questioning. Confronted with evidence of his relationship with Bill, Darius reluctantly admitted to the affair, but vehemently denied any involvement in Bill's death. His alibi was shaky, and with the mounting evidence, Darius became a primary suspect. During a thorough search of the basement, police uncovered hidden surveillance cameras. The footage revealed a disturbing sequence of events. That morning, Robert Mitchell had indeed visited Bill, and they had an intense discussion before he left. Two hours later, Darius entered the basement, and a heated argument ensued after he discovered Bill's infidelity with other men. The argument escalated into violence, with Darius fatally attacking Bill before leaving the scene. Faced with the undeniable evidence, Darius broke down and confessed to the crime. He claimed it was an act of rage, a moment of madness driven by betrayal and hurt. Vanessa, upon hearing the truth, was devastated, unable to reconcile the reality with the family she thought she knew. Faced with the undeniable evidence from the surveillance footage, Darius could no longer deny his involvement. He broke down and confessed to the crime, explaining that it was an act of uncontrollable rage and betrayal. The overwhelming emotions of the moment had driven him to commit the unthinkable. The trial took place on November 10, 2008. Darius pleaded guilty to manslaughter, citing emotional distress and loss of control as mitigating factors. The courtroom was filled with tension as both the prosecution and defense presented their cases. The judge, taking into account the circumstances, 
sentenced Darius to 15 years in prison, with the possibility of parole after 10 years. The sentencing marked the end of a tragic chapter for the Thompson family. Vanessa was left to pick up the pieces of her shattered life, grappling with the loss of her husband and the imprisonment of her son. The once close-knit community was left in shock, struggling to come to terms with the dark secrets that had been hidden within their midst.